Inquiring Minds, my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. Well here we are, only 10 more days left in the Chinese Year of the Tiger and I'm finally doing a review of the Pen BBS 546 Year of the Tiger fountain pen. The pen arrived before Christmas. Actually, the pen was here waiting for me when I got back from Palm Springs. A nice surprise. People around the world have been challenged by the now three year long pandemic. No people more than the Chinese who had to endure the pandemic and also China's zero tolerance policy, which restricted people's freedoms and people's businesses right across the country. PenBBS is a very small company, probably the smallest fountain pen maker in all of China, and it was hit particularly hard. And this resulted in their Chinese New Year pen being delayed by at least 10 months. But here it is, and it's typically unique with some interesting design features. I'm most interested in the new piston design from PenBBS that I hope will result in an upcoming new piston model to replace the substandard PenBBS 309, something I've been hoping for for a long time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell to get instant notifications. And if you want me to answer your comments, just become a member and support Inquiring Minds for only 99 cents a month. Now let's grab this tiger by the tail right now. And while I was away in California for a few days, of course, that's when things show up. So here is my pen BBS year of the tiger. And I'm looking forward to taking a look at it. And here's the box. And there was a really nice card from Biney in her lovely handwriting. Thank you. Thank you, Biney, for all you do. And there's the box. It's a 546 white sleeve. And this is a nice box. It's a purpley, sparkly black. Look at that. Pen BBS embossed on it. And it comes off the top. Oh, 2022. I think this is probably instructions. Yep. There we go in both Chinese and English how to use it and it's a piston filler this is a new piston for pen BBS there is the pen BBS 546 year of the tiger 2022 and much like the year of the ox it's an unusual shape and unusual pen and some people will like it, some people won't, but you can't say that Pen BBS isn't being unique. So I'm interested in how it works, how it comes apart, but typically interesting from Pen BBS. And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. As seems to be the trend with Pen BBS Year of Limited Edition pens, this Year of the Tiger is unique. Here is the Year of the Tiger next to last year's the Year of the Ox. I'm glad to say that the Tiger is more attractive than the dog's breakfast of a design that was the Ox. That's strange. All of a sudden I don't quite feel like myself. Oh, I feel all right, and yet I... I uh... <laughs> One of the criticisms constantly thrown at Chinese fountain pens is that they copy classic fountain pens. I doubt there is a Mont Blanc that looks anything like this. Although Mont Blanc has their share of, well, let's just call them unique looking pens. Pen BBS has given this model the number 546 and it is a piston filler. As to the design, well, there's a lot going on here and you have to have an appreciation for Chinese culture to understand this. First, the coloring. Black, gold, and bright red. A celebration of the Chinese New Year. Red and gold are the colors of the celebration of the Chinese New Year, which this year is on Sunday, January 22nd. Red and gold are traditional Chinese New Year's colors. In Chinese culture, red symbolizes luck, joy, and happiness, 
and gold is associated with power, wealth, longevity, and happiness. The origin of red as a New Year's color comes from the mythical beast called Nian, who had the body of a bull and the head of a lion and lived in the mountains and hunted for a living. Towards the end of winter, where there was nothing to eat, Nian would come on the first day of the new year to the villages to eat livestock, crops, and even children. Every good bedtime story has a monster that eats children, like Krampus. To protect themselves, the villagers would put food in front of their doors at the beginning of every year. It was believed that after Nian ate the food they had prepared, it wouldn't attack any more people. The villagers learned that Nian was afraid of three things, the color red, fire, and noise. So when the new year was about to come, the villagers would hang red lanterns and red spring coils on the windows and the doors, and they also used firecrackers to frighten Nian away. The ritual of celebrating the new year with firecrackers, noise, and the color red has persisted to this day. There are elements of Chinese architecture evident in the shapes that Pen BBS has used on the top and the bottom finials of this pen. The Chinese pagoda is an architectural style that is centuries old. It was originally a religious building for Buddhist prayer, but has become a secular symbol of Chinese feng shui, which is an ancient Chinese art of arranging buildings, objects, and space in an environment to achieve harmony and balance. So we should try to keep these cultural influences in the design in mind as we take a look at this most unique fountain pen. The top of the pen has a round pagoda design topped with a piece of pointed gold metal surrounded by a bright red powder coated metal rounded step that has four tiger paws etched into each side. So north, south, east, and west. The directions of north, south, east, and west are as important as the elements of earth, wind, fire, and water. The whole top finial pagoda is surrounded by a thin gold band, which is actually, I think, a cup that the whole thing sits into and then is screwed to the cap. The black plastic cap has a concave curve that culminates in a wide gold band, which is also concave in shape and has a top and bottom groove, a Chinese calligraphy symbol of a tiger on the front, and Pen BBS 546, the model number 2002, and this is piece 497 of 999 limited pieces. The clip is the typical Pen BBS sword clip, but it is in shiny gold color plating. I think this is the first time I've ever seen this clip in shiny gold. We've seen it in matte gold and in matte rose gold here on a previous. This one's the Year of the Rat. Uh, pen BBS and you can see it's in a matte rose gold and it's nicely springy and usable. The top part of the barrel is clear turned acrylic that again has a concave curve to it giving the entire pen a bamboo like appearance that I don't believe is unintentional. The barrel tapers down to the midpoint and then it's straight to a gold metal band that separates the piston knob uh, from the rest of the barrel. The piston knob is another round Chinese pagoda shape which can be better viewed when you turn it upside down and you can see the point on the top of the structure. Again, very evocative of the well-known Chinese structure which celebrates China's pride in the excellence and technical expertise of their architecture and technology. I don't see any other way to see the overall design of this pen but as a celebration and expression of Chinese pride of country. Through the transparent acrylic, we can see the new and long awaited by me piston mechanism. The piston rod cover is in a bright metallic red which matches the top finial and is engraved with established 2005 Pen BBS and Shanghai China. The cap unscrews with about one and a half turns to reveal a black plastic section and a number six size gold colored steel fine Pen BBS nib. These threads are very smooth and unobtrusive, and the section tapers down from around 11 millimeters to a very narrow 9.4 millimeters right here before it expands to a beveled flare. Let's look closer at this nib. It has a laser engraving of a stylized Chinese tiger and a couple of Chinese characters and 2002. And here is the black pen BBS feed, which has been newly redesigned to be more robust than the previous feeds. The nib and the feed are part of a nib assembly that unscrews easily for maintenance or replacement. And the section is glued into the barrel. 
The inside of the cap shows a step milled into it that meets up with the section to seal the nib. The cap posts, but you have to push it hard to get it all the way on and deep. This makes the cap more secure uh, and the pen shorter when it's posted and keeps the cap from rotating the piston knob when posted. The cap is relatively heavy and does unbalance the pen when it's posted, however. Getting the cap back off again is a bit of a struggle and always makes that popping sound when you get it off. A magnificent little wine. <laughs> that was very good. How do you do that? Oh, monsieur. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, monsieur. Unposted, the pen is plenty long enough to write with comfortably and is very light in the hand at only 12 grams. And I was surprisingly pleased with how it feels in the hand. With the odd shape and the narrow section, I was expecting it to feel as awkward as it looks, but it's actually surprisingly comfortable. As I said, I'm very interested in this new piston from Pen BBS, so I'm going to take it apart right now so we can take a look at it. Let me open up the piston. And you can see there are flat sides right there and right there. Unfortunately, there is no wrench right now that will fit that flat spot and is thin enough to get in there. But my narwhal wrench almost fits it and was able to grip it. And I was able to at least loosen the piston with that. But unfortunately, it scratched the powder coated red off of that metal. You can also take some needle nose pliers and grip onto it that way to get it to turn. But again, you risk damaging the pen. Perhaps Pen BBS will come out with a wrench that fits this in the near future. You can see I'm damaging my piston plastic as well. Not good. Anyway, I can get that unscrewed. Go. And we can slide that piston right out of there. And I'm going to compare it to two other pistons. This one is the Pen BBS 309, the piston filler that I have railed against for a long time. Get that one out of there. And here is my Narwhal School Kill, which does have a wrench that works. And it has a reverse thread where the Pen BBS has a regular. Thread. This has a left-handed thread. Pull that one out. And then the third one I'm going to look at is a Lorelei 667, which is an almost exact copy of a Pen BBS 309, but it has a piston mechanism in it. I'm going to take this out, just like that, and we compare that. So there are our four piston mechanisms. I want to first compare the 309 to the new year of the tiger piston you can see it's a complete redesign the problem with this 309 was that when you unscrewed the piston to fill the pen it would unscrew the whole mechanism from the pen and you'd dump ink all over yourself or the piston would get stuck down inside the 309 and not release and you'd end up having to unscrew it and dump ink all over the place so long and friends has worked on this obviously but the cool thing here is they've used exactly the same part for the piston head itself so those pen bbs parts bags that you guys have bought it's a really good idea to have those they're really cheap about eight bucks or something like that it has one of these piston heads on it so if you already have this then you have a replacement for the Year of the Tiger pen as well, and hopefully a future model. So it's a complete redesign, and it's not a copy of either the Lorelei. You can see it's a different idea altogether, different threading. The piston rod itself is threaded on both these pens. This is the Narwhal. You can see the threading and the different style of piston head. The Pen BBS piston works by an internal gear that goes inside that sheath right there so the, get, the threads are not visible on the outside. I've actually marked it where it belongs by scratching it just so I get lined up the correct way when I put it back together again. Unfortunately, this is the kind of damage you do to this pen when you try to take it apart. So don't try this at home, folks. I'm taking one for the team here. So I'll put that back in again. 
tighten it down as far as I can by hand. My needle nose pliers on it and tighten it down the rest of the way. And there we go. So if Pen BBS could take this piston and put it into the barrel of this classic Pen BBS 308, I think they'd really have a very popular piston filler design. I know I'd buy one, well, at least two, one in amber and one in galaxy, and maybe a demonstrator too. Oh, and a note to Pen BBS if you're listening, you can keep the removable section on the new piston filler. Uh, we'd appreciate that a lot. I bought this pen from the Pen BBS official store on Etsy for $55.99 US, and they still have quite a few of them in stock. I'm not surprised as the look of this pen is not everyone's cup of Chinese tea. Now let's look at some size comparison. And here is the Pen BBS 2022 Year of the Tiger with a Pen BBS 2001 Year of the Ox, a 2020 Year of the Rat, a Pen BBS 309 Piston Filler, and a Pilot Metropolitan for scale. The Year of the Rat is a magnetic piston filler, and the Year of the Ox is a vacuum filler. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. These are all number six size steel nibs with the exception of the Metropolitan. The Year of the Ox posted by screwing the cap onto the end of the finial, making it a very long pen indeed, as is the Year of the Rat. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. <laughs> And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Pen BBS 546 year of the Tiger. And it has a number six size fine steel nib. Let's check the wetness. It's decently wet actually without any adjustments to the nib at all, which is a nice surprise. Mostly these fine steel nibs from Pen BBS are intentionally dry and you have to spread the tines a little bit to get them to write wetter. They're actually made to write dry, so they're conducive to Asian style writing and calligraphy. And this nib is incredibly smooth. With a little bit of feedback. This is one of the finer, sorry, not fine, but one of the better fine steel nibs from Pen BBS that I've experienced. Very nice. And the ink today is one that I think is an excellent match for this pen, especially for the metallic powder coated red piston and the top finial because it is a shimmering red ink and it's from the 2022 Diamine Ink Vent calendar and it is Diamine. Spiced apple. And here's the ink when I swatched it on Tomoe River paper in December. And you can see that it dries a little bit darker, starts out quite bright red and then dries darker, has a gold sheen to it and a gold shimmer. And as to line variation, well, these steel nibs from Pen BBS are fairly stiff and you don't expect any line variation out of them. This nib makes a 0 0.5 millimeter line, which makes it a Western fine or a Japanese between a fine to a medium. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing. 
Yeah, it's handling that very, very well. It's a lot thinner and drier, but look at that, it's keeping up and it's not that scratchy. And for some quick writing. That feed has no difficulty whatsoever. It's a very juicy pen. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, everything I like about this pen is in the design. And everything I dislike about this pen is in the design. If that's too opaque for you, well, here's a quote from Confucius. So I can appreciate this fountain pen for the design thought that went into it to celebrate not only the new year, but also to celebrate the designer's pride in China. They are as proud of their identity and culture as you are of your nation and your culture. It pays to remember that people are people, no matter where they're from. They have hopes and desires, creativity and success, and pride in their families and their accomplishments, as well as in their identities. So Jialong Su and his small band of fountain pen enthusiasts have spent the last 17 years dedicating themselves to their passion for fountain pens and inks. I think they are a remarkable story in the fountain pen world, and this 2022 Year of the Tiger is an expression of their pride in their art and pride in their Chinese culture, and I applaud them for it. That being said, although I'll treasure this pen as very unique and interesting, I probably won't be writing with it. It's a bit too odd looking and thin and narrow in my hand for me. However, I was surprised at how comfortable it is and how beautifully it writes. What intrigues me most about the pen is the piston, however. Thank you, Long, for working on the new piston. I fully expect to see this piston design in a new model from Long and Pen BBS in the very near future. I've suggested an adaptation of the 308 with this piston and that would be a terrific pen. But I wouldn't be surprised if the flat top design of the 309 was revamped with the new piston either, but they put the new sword clip on it. Perhaps that would be the Pen BBS 310. Who knows? I'm ready for it. Are you? So let me know in the comments. And there you have it. Don't forget if you're shopping at Gold Spot Pens online, please use the link in my description and you'll support my channel when you do. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. for watching and that's all she wrote I made this